I don't know about you, but some of my best childhood memories are from family road trips we took to Washington, D.C. or the Black Hills of South Dakota. And my husband and I decided we wanted to make some of those memories with our son. So we were in Seattle for Christmas visiting my family, and we decided to drive back. And we took the long way. <laughs> the most direct route would be about 2,700 miles from here to Seattle. Um, but the route we took was 4,204.4 miles from when we left in Seattle to when we pulled back in our driveway. And we saw Oregon and Northern California. We drove through a redwood. We saw sea lions on the coast. We had a stop in Los Angeles. And the main reason we went on this route, this long route, is because my husband and I really wanted to see the Grand Canyon. Mm. We'd never been there. So we got there late one night and went, just ended up going to our hotel and sleeping. That was actually New Year's Eve. And the next morning on New Year's Day, we got up early. There was fresh snow and we hiked this short trail to the edge of the Grand Canyon. Just so excited to see this beautiful, magnificent thing that God had made. And this is what we saw. Faintly make Look, out. Look kids, there's the Grand Canyon. <laughs> It looks like a cloud. <laughs> that might burn off later. I, <laughs> what yes, happened? It was covered in fog. We couldn't no. see anything. Oh, man. So we were just laughing because it was like we had traveled all this way and all we saw was clouds. But thankfully, the clouds burned off and the view was magnificent. And we hiked 11 miles that day. And we were wearing completely inappropriate footwear because we didn't pack hiking boots or anything or snow boots. We just had like tennis shoes and it was really snowy and slick. So I like slid down into the Grand Canyon. It was actually people always say, oh, it's so much harder coming out. It was actually easier coming out. We came out faster than we went in because it was so hard to go down because it was so slippery. So our last big hurrah was a day in Waco, Texas at the Magnolia Silos. Chip and Joe say hi, by the way. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, hey. <laughs> and uh, I finally got to try one of those amazing cupcakes at the Silo Baking Company. And I brought you guys a present. No. Yes. No. Uh, oh, you already said that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. Yeah. Well, it's like Christmas all over again. Uh -huh. Thank you. I couldn't go on that huge trip and not get you anything. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not a cupcake. I Can know you, you eat it? <laughs> you cannot eat it. It's a chipism, is what they call it. Chipism. Yeah, it's like little quotes that Chip oh says. Oh my word! Go get them. What's yours? Do good work. Ah, uh, see, you need <laughs> yeah, that message. But what would you? This is some kind of metal that they put this on. This yeah. is like you spared no expense. You know who makes those? Is uh, is it Jimmy Don? Is that his name? Jimmy uh, Don. He's on the episodes and he makes her signs and stuff. Yeah, I know who it is. Yeah. This is so nice. Wow. <laughs> he made it just for us? Yes, just Thank for you. you. And like <laughs> a million other people who are shopping there. Well, yeah, but mainly for us. <laughs> this is just so nice. We got you nothing. That's okay. You didn't, didn't do anything. We didn't, yeah, we didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's usually it. Now we're inspired to go do some stuff. This is it. Well, thank you, and welcome back home. Thank you. Well, now we got to go find her something. <laughs>